Hi, my name is Alexis Viegas, and I did my research paper on water and psychology. So the first thing I want to go over is the definition of the psychology of water. So the psychology of water is understanding how humans use water in general, meaning like us, us, you know, drinking water, us in showering, brushing our teeth, and then to understand the, the purpose that water serves to us being, you know, cognitively or, you know, as a resource. So one of the first topics I spoke about in my research paper was the way that water is often taken for granted uh, because of its availability. You know, we are so we have so much access to water and it's very inexpensive compared to other utilities. So, you know, we use water and we don't even realize how much water we use. And um, it's a problem because, you know, droughts have uh, provided for like scarcity and like to explain to us that like water is not always going to be here and we must conserve water. Um, a lot of people are also like grossed out at the fact that, you know, we shouldn't necessarily flush our toilets so much. And uh, when we provide, um, you know, like when we tell them like, hey, like maybe you shouldn't flush your toilet so much and, you know, just kind of like conserve it. They're just like disgusted at it. But at the same time, when we ask people how, in ways they can conserve water, they talk about small tasks such as like turning off the faucet when they brush their teeth or taking shorter showers instead of installing like low flush toilet systems. Um, so that is the first topic I spoke about. The second topic I spoke about was uh, education on water systems. So in my research paper, I spoke about how it's important to learn how and where water is used. So we often don't understand how often, you know, water is used. Uh, for example, um, for the foods we like to eat, we often don't realize that it takes like so much water to get this food. Like an almond, I think, you know, provides like a lot of water in order just to have that one almond like made so they have created new like initiatives to conserve water a lot of competitions within certain regions and then they created a new game system called gamification which educates people on water usage water contamination and water in general which is very helpful for society and the last um, topic I spoke of was water function uh, water for brain function um so the food and water we drink affect our mental and physical performance um we require a certain amount of water on the daily in order for us to have you know the expected brain function in order for us to proper function um well yeah functionally but to to prop to to work properly and we are what we eat so it's very important for us to you know eat well and you know consume a lot of water in order for us to keep going uh water consumption positively affects us and increases our cognitive mood states um water is very important for us because we are water so we must drink water uh, people often overestimate the status of the hydration and end up being dehydrated. This goes a lot for runners and like athletes. They believe they are okay, but they often don't understand how important it is for them to consume water to be able to perform to the best of their abilities. Uh, so without water, our brain functions very differently. And we found that dehydration when dehydration occurs, it affects memory, perception, your neurotransmitters act differently, which is the information that like is pro like processed in your head. You have different reaction, mood changes, and confusion. So overall, you just do not feel good if you do not have consumptions of waters. Okay, so lastly, uh, water stimulates. So uh, in my research paper, I spoke of an article that talks about elderly having social clubs and them involving water. And water increases relaxation and social socialization. So it makes for just 
a social aspect of, you know, coming together with other people as well as being relaxed. So this is the topics I covered in my research paper. Thank you so much.